Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for October the 25th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, sales of GlaxoSmithKline's prescription drugs in the third quarter increased 3% to £4.2 billion, while revenue from vaccines climbed 5% to £1.7 billion. The company noted that sales of new products, including Tivacay, Triumec, Relvar, Brio Ellipta and Nucala, surged 44% to £1.7 billion. CEO Emma Walmsley said the performance in the quarter showed continued progress, with sales growth and improved operating margins. Walmsley added results were driven by targeted cost savings and restructuring, which particularly benefited vaccines and consumer healthcare. In other news... Insight gained global rights to develop Macrogenics experimental PD-1 inhibitor MGA-012 under a deal potentially worth up to $900 million. Insight Chief Medical Officer Stephen Steen said, Anti-PD-1 therapy is becoming a mainstay of cancer treatment and we believe MGA-012 is important to fulfilling our long-term development strategy. In addition, Biogen's profit for the third quarter climbed 19% to about $1.2 billion, as sales rose 4% to $3.1 billion. Growth was driven by the launch of the spinal muscular atrophy drug Spinraza, which contributed $271 million in global revenues, beating forecasts of $253 million. And finally... The Initiative for Medicines Access and Knowledge filed petitions in the US seeking to challenge patents on Gilead Sciences' hepatitis C treatment Sovaldi. The consumer group claims that the main patents on the active ingredient and the crystalline structure of Sovaldi aren't new and have curbed access to the drug. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.